All right. Okay, so we're going to continue with this a live creation of a report. Okay, so again, the prompt is a classmate broke an item on your teacher's desk while she was awake. You witnessed the incident. Write a report for your principal. So we just did the first paragraph, which is the introduction. Of course, you must have your four W's. When, say the date and the time the incident occurred. All right, so this, so on the sides is how we would plan it. And then the middle is, the blue is right, literally right here. All right, so you must have an idea, just a general date. You have nine, a date and a time, because your incident must start and end. You have the who. So who are the persons involved? So state names of the main people or groups or institutions or animals or witnesses. All right, in this case, it's Peter Parker, June James, and yourself, you put your own name, all right? Oh, I need to correct something there, right? The what state was the report would be about? So Peter Parker broke an item. And of course you need to see where it is taking place. All right, so on Friday, 25th of October, 2021, an incident occurred at 9.30 a.m. at the St. Joseph Boys RC School in the standard 4J classroom. The persons involved were a student named Peter Parker, a teacher named Miss June James, and I should put here, witnessed, Um, a witness oh so and it's stuck what's that Okay, there it is. Keyboard or stuff. So you put a comma. And a witness. All right. Include your name. So this report will expound on the incident where Peter Parker broke an item on Miss James's desk while she was not in the classroom. Okay, so now we head over to the second paragraph. So this is what the second paragraph will include. So let me scoot over. We can make more space. Let me move my arrow. Right. So paragraph two, which is before the incident or the accident. So you're stating say the time or the order of event. So example, 15 minutes before at, so you use your transition words and phrases to transition into the second paragraph. So 15 minutes before, at first, to start, when, before, initially. All right, so we're gonna use 15 minutes before. Of course, you have to see what happened. All right, so all of this is detailed in your plan. Yeah, so we have 
state at least three actions or details to be included in the paragraph. Right, so what are three things that could have happened? Uh, we have the teacher gave instruction and left the classroom. The student went and sat at the teacher's desk. Three, the prefect instructed him to retain to his seat. All right, so now we're going to, what we're going to write, so let's get started. All right, so next paragraph. Space, 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 space. All right. So 15 minutes before, fifteen minutes before, comma. Okay. So what's the first thing that happened? Miss James um, was called to a meeting. over the intercom by the vice principal. Okay. Therefore, transition phrase it with, oops. Therefore, she instructed the class to complete the assignment uh, which was on the board. During the time that she would be absent. We could say, let's just add on to that. So 50 minutes before the incident occurred. All right, let's just. Was a meeting over the intercom to attend a meeting in ten minutes over the intercom by the vice principal. Therefore, she instructed the class to complete the assignment which was on the board during the time that she would be absent. Okay, so that's the first thing that happened. Second point, the student went and sat at the teacher's desk. Okay, so let's state that. When she left the classroom, Say shortly after, right? Transition phrases. Peter Parker got up and sat. at Miss James's nope, no, no. desk. All right, oh, put a comma there. Which prompted 
the class prefect, or we should have mentioned the class prefect in the, or maybe you're the class prefect. All right. All right. Let's kill two birds with one stone, which prompted. No, you're the witness. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's include the class prefect. All right, so since it's a long list, let's put a school on here. So a student named the Parker, a teacher named. Uh, Oh. Prefect. Let's call him. Clark Kent. Since we have Peter Parker. Clark Kent. And a witness, all right? So you are witnessing the event, so you are seeing everything happening, all right? So your name would not be, or you would not use I or me, I um, shortly after Peter Parker got up and sat at Miss James's desk, which prompted the class prefect, comma, Clark Kent. to instruct him to return, oops, to his seat immediately. Eat. Link. All right, so that's the second paragraph. So let's see what happens in the third paragraph. So paragraph three. So paragraph three is going to be about immediately after the incident or accident. All right, so this is at 9.30. All right, so when say the time or the order of events, 10 minutes after 9 p.m., please start to use the transitions, of course. All right, so please to start when then next. Uh, what happened, at least three action details to be included in the paragraph. All right, so the three details in this case would be the student started throwing objects, the prefect instructed student to stop, student continued throwing, a hit hit a vase which ended up breaking it. All right, so that is the item that broke on her desk. All right, so let's head back. So let's skip Barga and uh, Paragraph three now. So let's use a transition. <laughs> let's see. We could start at, right? We could say, no, no, because the base broke at 9.30. All right, so. All right, so Clark and instruct them to return to his seat. Mm, what's a good transition? You say soon after. All right, P 
Peter uh, began storing items such as a duster, because you want to state the exact items, such as a duster, pen, okay, blue pen, and what else can I do? And a whiteboard marker. at the students seated in the front row. I have to add details, of course. All right, so the second step was the prefect, prefect instructed the student to stop, of course. All right, so we can see the prefect continuously instructed or repeatedly, let's use, let's, let's use repeatedly. Instructed Peter to stop throwing the items at the students. However, oh, editing is there. Let's see. Let's see. However, five minutes after. His request at nine thirty AM Peter mm, let's see what did he use the head TVs? Uh, let's see, he swung his right hand, which struck Miss James class phase. Right, so, uh, which is a conjunction um, fell to the ground and shattered. All right, so we have our third paragraph. So soon after, we have our transition with Soon after, Peter began throwing items such as a duster, blue pen, and a whiteboard 
marker. Had the students seated in the front row. The prefect, Clark, repeatedly instructed Peter to stop throwing items. Let's put the items. So what happened here? At the students. However, five minutes after his request at 9.30, Peter swung his right hand, which struck Miss James's glass face, which then fell to the ground and shattered. All right, so let's head over to the fourth paragraph now. What happens immediately after? So that is the main event, right? You can see it here. That was the point of the... Right, that Peter Parker broke an item on Miss James' desk. Um, why she was not? So he broke the vase. So paragraph four is going to be about immediately after the incident. All right. So again, you use your transition words and phrases, and we're going to state exactly what happened. So three details of what will be included in the paragraph. So the three details will be, he ran out of the classroom, he being Peter, the prefect followed him to the boys' bathroom, and therefore he refused to return to class. All right, so let's detail that. All right, next paragraph. So we can see immediately after. We can say then. Let's use then. Simple. Then Peter. immediately um, ran out of the classroom and headed into the boys' bathroom. All right, so note we have no dialogue. There's no conversation between Clark and Peter, all right? There's no dialogue. There's no um, adjective, not too many descriptive figurative language or anything like that, just stating the facts that are happening that you, the witness, would, would are seeing and you are relaying what's happening. So then Peter immediately ran out of the classroom and headed into the boys' bathroom. Could he be crying? If you can add some emotion. Yes, we could. Okay. While crying. Does he already know he's going to be in trouble? While crying. Uh, Clark followed him and told him to return to the classroom to clean 
the mess or the shattered glass. Come on, but um, Clark, ref but Peter refused. We'll exit. Oh, we should also say uh, maybe we could say that the bathroom was locked. Refuse to exit the bathroom. And locked the door. All right, very simple paragraph. Um, now, the fifth paragraph, as it states here, sometimes optional, you can join it to the fourth paragraph, right? Make your life a little easier. So, the fifth slash fourth slash fifth paragraph, right? Of course, it will be the consequences or the outcome of the incident or accident. All right, we're, good. we're getting close to the end time. So stay the time or the order of the events. Of course, your transitional words and phrases. What happens? We'll see at least three details. Oh, I'm, I'm missing a detail. The teacher returned. The prefect reported the incident. All right, we'll probably add another. All right, so let's continue this paragraph here. All right, so we have to look at the consequences of what. Hmm. Let's scroll up. All right, so we can see. All right, so if you say the teacher returned, or we can say as a result. Oops. As a result, Clark went to the vice principal's office And called Miss James for assistance. He explained the incident to her. And she excused herself from the meeting. Right. So now we can go to the last paragraph. Right, you can go to the last paragraph, which is the consequences. Right, so let's say, oh, so she excused herself from the meeting at ten ten a.m. Bye. 
it. All right, so that was also included. So we already said the teacher returned, the prefect reported the incident. So he would have informed Ms. Jane of what occurred. So now let's wrap up this. So we can say, we could say in the end or finally or at the end, uh, some sort of concluding transition. All right, so we can say lastly, Uh, Miss James told um, Peter to unlock the bathroom door and exit. Uh, and exit, which he did immediately. All right. Then he was instructed to return to the classroom where he swept the pieces of broken glass and cleaned Oh, um, replace the items. Furthermore, he was instructed to pack his belongings or his book bag and go to the vice principal's office. Office. Right. For further instruction. Peter. Parker left the classroom at ten thirty PM. And that is the end of your report. So let's read it through quickly. All right, so a classroom you broke an item on your teacher's desk while she was away, you witnessed the incident, write a report to your principal. So this report is what you would present to the principal that you would have written because you are the witness. So on Friday, 25th October, 2021, an incident occurred at 9.30 a.m. at St. Joseph Boys RC School in the standard 4J classroom. The persons involved were a student named Peter Parker, a teacher named Miss Stuart James, a prefect named Clark Kent, and a witness myself, whatever your name is. This report would expound on the incident where Peter Parker broke an item on Miss James's desk while she was not in the classroom. 
15 minutes before the incident had cleared, Ms. James was called to attend a meeting in 10 minutes over the intercom by the vice principal. Therefore, she, was instructed, she instructed the class to complete the assignment, which was on the board during that time that she would be absent. When she left the classroom shortly after, Peter Parker got up and sat on Ms. James's desk, which prompted the class prefect, Carl Kent, to instruct him to return to his seat immediately. Soon after, Peter began throwing items such as a duster, blue pen, and a whiteboard marker at the students seated in the front room. The prefect, Clark, repeatedly instructed Peter to stop throwing the items at the students. However, five minutes after his request, at 9.30 a.m., Peter swung his right hand, which struck Miss James's glass page, which fell to the ground and shattered. Then Peter immediately ran out of the classroom and headed into the boys' bathroom while crying. Clark followed him and told him to return to the classroom to clean the shattered glass. That's because glass there. Not class, not class. But Peter refused to exit the bathroom and lock the door. As a result, Clark went to the vice principal's office and called Mrs. Miss James for assistance. He explained the incident to her and she excused herself from the meeting at 10 10 a.m. Lastly, Ms. James told Peter to unlock the bathroom door and exit, which he did immediately. Then he was instructed to return to the classroom where he swept the pieces of broken glass and replaced, that's just replaced, the items. Furthermore, he was instructed mm, to pack his book bag and go to the vice principal office for further instruction and to change instructed. I had to use another synonym. Peter Parker left the classroom at 10 30 a.m. So we have a start time and end time. We have the details before, during, and after. All right, so this is how you would write a report. Very simple, very easy. No need to memorize any figurative language, similes, and whatnot. You simply say it in the facts. All right.